Meghan Markle gave Prince Harry something ex-girlfriends couldn't touch with 10-foot pole. Meghan Markle gave Prince Harry something his previous ex-girlfriends couldn't touch with a 10-foot pole as she enchanted the royal when they began their relationship. An insider claimed, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship has remained firmly under the microscope as they continue to lead their financially independent life away from the royal family. Stepping back from senior royals' duties last year, they have since gone on to secure lucrative deals with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. Observers continue to discuss their private lives, particularly in the aftermath of the bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey that saw the couple open up about their time inside Buckingham Palace. The chat, which aired in the UK on ITV and CBS in the US, allowed Harry and Meghan to talk through a variety of subjects that had bothered them when they were members of the royal family. They claimed to have married three days before their spectacular royal wedding in 2018, an allegation since refuted by the couple, and the church. Now, resurfaced documentaries have shown how the Sussexes' blossoming relationship began. Ashley Pearson, a royal commentator, last year told of how Harry was blown away by Meghan's humanitarian work on coming to his attention. She told the 2020 Amazon Prime documentary Meghan Markle, Changing Traditions, Prince Harry had dated, well a string really, of beautiful English socialites. They tended to be blonde, and willowy, very great backgrounds of wealthy families, who went to the right schools. However, what Meghan brought to the equation was a lot of humanitarian work that Harry's ex-girlfriends just couldn't even touch with a 10-foot pole. Meghan had actually worked for the UN, she'd gone on missions and trips to support women and children in the developing world. Meghan had been a global humanitarian long before she met Prince Harry. And I think as Harry was very close to stepping into his full role as a member of the royal family. The possibility of meeting someone who was equally passionate and engaged about changing the world and helping other people was extremely attractive to Harry. The ex-girlfriends Ems Pearson referred to included Chelsea Davy and Cressida Benes, two women who have remained close to Harry despite their breakups. Chelsea was previously described by some royal commentators as Harry's real love match, and the pair enjoyed a colorful seven-year on-off romance. This was pointed out by Richard Kay when he spoke during William and Kate into the future. He said, there's a great passion between the two of them when they're together. The tension is visible, there's electricity, there's sparks flying everywhere. You can tell though they have a very volatile relationship, tremendous shouting matches, screaming rows, but then they get back together again. I would say that of all the royal romances currently going on, theirs was the real true thing. It's the real deal. And I suspect unless something catastrophic happens, they will marry. But it'll be a very tempestuous marriage. Ultimately, their romance would end in 2011. But, Chelsea was still invited to Harry's brother Prince William's wedding in the same year. Such was the close bond shared between Harry and Chelsea that she was also given an invitation to attend Harry's nuptials three years ago when he wed Meghan. Another of Harry's former lovers, Cressida told Australia's Daily Telegraph last year that she had once been fearful of being branded in a girl for the rest of her life. She dated Harry for two years before the romance broke down in 2014. Cressida said, The fear of failing, the fear of rejection, the fear of not getting it right, the fear of not being perfect, I think that has limited me in certain situations in my life. The publication said it hinted at what could have been had she married into the royal family. Katie Nichol author of the 2017 biography Harry, Life, Loss and Love, also spoke of how Cressida was left totally spooked after watching Harry's sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, carry out royal duties. She said, Cressida had been completely spooked while watching TV coverage of William, Kate and George touring New Zealand and Australia that spring. A friend told the author, she, Cressida, was sitting at home watching Kate on the royal tour of Australia and it was a wake-up call. There was no way she wanted that sort of attention and she told Harry so.